for us to be at this point where we are today. No one expected us to make it back here. But the good thing is that I don't think we ever doubted ourselves. We're like a family. And when we come in this gym and we step out on this court, then I, I want Cynthia to know I'm there for her and Tina and, and Monica and Polina and everyone on this team. A very touching scene as the LA Sparks team handed the Houston players uh, spiritual bracelets, something to uh, show their sisterhood throughout all of this uh, tough time that the Houston Comets are going through. Shadow of death, 16 men on a dead man's chest. Your host this heed, Mr. H.O.T. And I get you get splashed with the tech. Nobody go to the guard, say so. You got a second or more to run for the dough. Before I blow back off the map, contact. You didn't know stack could get down like that. And when I get that feeling, I yeah. can no yeah. longer slide. of the WNBA Championship, the Houston Comets versus the New York Liberty. The Houston Comets have won a big one. It's playoff time, and when it is for Cynthia Cooper, she just shines. She played almost a complete game the other night against New York. You leave her open, she'll knock down in the three. She can also take it to the basket, and that's when she's most dangerous because she gets herself to the free throw line. She was a perfect 10 of 10. But don't overlook her defense because she comes up with the big plays there, and she distributes the basketball, averaging over eight assists in the playoffs. And Cheryl Swoops, Tina Thompson, contributing big, and Richie Adebayo told us yesterday that they've got to stop two of the big three in order to have a chance. You've been the best team. You are the best team. Play with that. You've been a team that's kept your composure. You'll do that. Don't let anything bother you tonight. Nothing bothers you. If they come out here tonight and I let you play, adjust. If it's one of those games they react and they're going to call everything, adjust. I'm proud of you. I guarantee you that. Let's go. The Comets and Liberty set to go. And the Comets had a superb performance defensively in game one on Thursday night. In fact, Van Chancellor said it may have been their best defensive performance of the season, especially in that first half where they took the Liberty right out of it. They really did. And give credit to the Liberty as far as the way they came back. But you got to hold your head up tight to the champions. The Houston Comets never let the Liberty get back in the game. And they win the opening tip. You saw the numbers. They have yet to lose a playoff game in three seasons here at the Compact Center. Cooper right to the goal. And a quick two points for Cynthia Cooper. See, Vicki Johnson Whitmore comes to help out, leaving Tina Thompson wide open for three. Falling behind early. Robinson, that's a good open look. It just won't go down. Rebound, Vicki Johnson blocked from behind by Thompson. Tina Thompson would be a superstar on any other team. She made all WNBA second team. You look at her numbers. Again, they won't blow you away like her other two in the big three, but just such a steady player. I'm going to set good pace and let you go. And then I'm going to go. We are seeing a dominating defensive performance. It's almost like the Comets have six players out there. Every time you reverse the ball, somebody's double team. Wetherspoon keeps it alive. Here's Wetherspoon. Nice move inside. Still won't fall. Nothing falling for the New York Liberty. One of 14 from the field. And they have two points. We're past the midway point of the first half. Oh, nice pass. Jackson inside. And the Comets right now is just blowing out the Liberty. Witherspoon, move inside. Talked about Teresa Witherspoon. There's the lucky play. Witherspoon puts it up, puts it in. Rebecca Lobo has sat out all but about a half minute of the season. The knee injury in the opening minute of the opener. And the lead back up to 14. Sophia Witherspoon knocks it in. Hampton, left open, hits the jumper. 
Chapman. That's a three. Out there right now for the Comets. Chikova. Three-pointer is good. Paulina Chikova, the center, an excellent three-point shooter, and the lead back up to 14. Yes, they have the big three, but some other key players, Tammy Jackson, Janeth Arcane, and Chikova. Arcane, drive inside, and a foul. Crystal Robinson averaging 15 points per game in the playoffs. Robinson will set it up, an open three. Crystal Robinson, it's good. Robinson, quick release. It's good. Crystal Robinson again from downtown. And the lead is cut to two. Cooper has been quiet offensively. Left-handed. The bank shot won't go. Look at Tammy Jackson. Throws it to Cooper. Cooper inside. Won't fall. Rebound. Weatherspoon. Fires it ahead to Robinson. Robinson for three. It's good. Crystal Robinson gives the Liberty their first lead of the game. Swoops. Thompson wide open for three. She puts it in. Tana Thompson from downtown. Rebound, Cheryl Swoops. The follow puts it in. Nikki Johnson having a three. Oh, nice shot from Becky Hammond. Swoops, that's a three-pointer. It's good. Cheryl Swoops from downtown. Eight on the shot clock. Cooper looks up and sees that. Shot clock at four. Cooper, nice feed to Arcane. Reverse layup puts it in. And Houston back up by four. Robinson finding Kim Hampton. Hampton draws the foul, puts it in, and one. Back to Hampton. Hampton with a jumper. She puts it in. Kim Hampton puts the Liberty back up by one with 120 remaining. Richie Adubato has told his team after the rebound, when you get the ball, call timeout. Thompson second. You don't want to take too much time off the clock. Robinson puts it up. It's good, a two-pointer. Crystal Robinson ties the game. He'll put it in the hands of Cynthia Cooper. Cooper to Thompson. Tina Thompson puts it up. Fake shot is good with 2.4 remaining. The Comets up by two. Liberty out of timeouts. They've got to go the length of the floor. Teresa Weatherspoon at the buzzer, a three. Oh, she put it in. She put it in. And the Liberty win game two. What a finish! Teresa Weatherspoon! This crowd is absolutely stunned. One of the most amazing finishes in the WNBA. And there'll be a game three tomorrow afternoon. No, I remember your facial expression. When Spoon had it at half court and she let it go, I remember, because actually you were just standing at half court. They put the no, camera I on Tina. No, I was Tina. not standing at half court. Where were you? I was standing in the front of the press, and then when she drove by, I'm not going to say the player, you guys can go ahead and watch the film. Oh, I was yeah. like, okay. somebody get her. So I ran from where I was supposed to be to come and get her. I'm like, anything is possible. You got to give she her a clean go. shot. And I was so angry. Do you remember the locker room? Like, don't worry about it. We're going to come back tomorrow, you guys. Well, I'm like, are you serious? Who wants to come back tomorrow? We got to play it back to back. I'm tired. I want to go home. Oh, my God. Perhaps the most remarkable comeback in the three-year history of the WNBA. It would be so very, very special. And it would also be bittersweet for me. You know, it would be the first championship without my best friend or my mom. And, you know, they're the people that I always celebrated with. And after both championships, I left the arena and went and sat and laughed and joked and hung out with my mom. And this year, it's not going to be that way. And so it's going to be bittersweet. But I tell you what, they would be proud of the Houston Comets. They would be proud of me. Inside game three, a sea of red. Comet fans all united in the spirit of Kim Peratt. Have a great game. This should be a barn burn. No more last second shots. That will not happen today. <laughs> you have your rings over there, the two. And I have room for a couple more on here. And one day I hope to walk around like this to the game. See my pinky, see my thumb. See that kid with the pump shotgun. Mr. Mac, hold the fourth most down. Cats is dead wrong, songs too long. Mr. Big Mouth, could that be trout? You need to dush out your style, no doubt. Shallon strut through the shallon slum. Rum, rum, rum on my shallon drum. And when yeah. I get that feeling, I yeah. can no longer yeah. slide. I can no longer run, no, no, no. And when I get that feeling, yeah. Yeah. I can no longer hide. Uh. Thoughts no longer fall, no, no, no. Yeah, you can say what you want.
dynasty in the WNBA. The Houston Comets have won their third straight championship. We know that in so many ways, Kim is here with you today. Congratulations. It's a three-peat. Moments after the season ends, the celebration begins. She did it for Kim! She did it for New York! She's crying! This is just really special because of Kim Broughton. You know, it's just very special to all of Houston, I think. So, number one, baby. No, number three. Or number ten. Mama, you're the baby, you lady, man. And you can say I'll be your reasons, but yeah, I don't want yeah. you Staten Island, bring the balance. No shirt for smiling, you better check your calendar. Apparatus, coming through from the stack. Test connected. Leak the weapon. Leak the injection. John John Blaze, it ain't all day, every day with the souffle. All your cash got to react. Jump back, kiss yourself or you get smacked. By the mic apparatus, coming through with the status, connecting. Lethal weapon, lethal injection. Vision unseen, like Jing when I hack men, the unforgiven. Locked in prison in the Wu Tang dirty dungeon. You should come into my 12 bar dirty dungeon. They're on the bubble, they've got to get this eight point shot by Francis. So they fall out, and it's still Phoenix with Jason Kidd and Miss Gill. And 38 points total from the defending champion, Houston Tandem. Cynthia Cooper was with Clyde Drexler a couple of years ago and Stevie Francis. So here we go. Swoop, to descend upon rapidly like a bird on its prey. Can you use the word swoops in a sentence, boys and girls? A lot of people have said that, um, oh my gosh, there's no way Cheryl and Cynthia can play together. But I think with everything that has gone, gone on with this team this year, um, not only have Cynthia and I become closer, but all of us on this team, we've become closer, we've become more like a family. Um, and I think the chemistry is so good with, with myself and with, with Cynthia. It seems like she knows where I'm going to be, I know where she's going to be. And the good thing is that once we step out on that court, it's all about business. You know, we forget about everything else that's going on and we just go out there and play because we all have that one goal in mind and that's to win another championship. We've come a long, long way together Through the hard times and the good I have to celebrate you, baby I have to praise you like I should Entering the WNBA's fourth season in the year 2000, the Houston Comets were still the only champions the league had ever known. They came out of the gate still looking like the league's dominant force, winning nine of their first ten games. They took just two more defeats before the All-Star break and would finish the season with a 27-5 record and the first ranking of fence and defense. Cynthia, when you dribble down there, when you go, when you get in here and you dribble to baseline, where you want me to go? You want me to come back up here? Baseline on that side. I want to become a better overall player. I don't want to just concentrate or focus on just one part of my game. And now Cheryl of Steele. She swoops, she swipes, she scoops, and she scores. Cheryl Swoops has got 17. Swoops, the all-time leader in steals, has one here. And Swoops gives Houston the lead. Hey, Tom Jordan. You're Cheryl Swoops. Forward. Houston Comets. How are you doing? You got some pretty good moves. You're fast anyway. Thanks. I guess. You know, your jump shot could be better. You're releasing the ball too soon. It's fixable. With work. Girl, where is your mama? Mama can't help you a jump shot. Does he have a jumper? He's only 11 months old. 
I had a jump shot at his age. I had a good jump. You are the future. I might be the president. You the future. You know what okay, I'm saying? Gotcha. Y'all hear what I'm saying? <laughs> Tina Thompson, the MVP. The stars are out tonight, but you were able to shine the brightest. You're so rare. So fine. I'm so long three point oh. She got it! Are you kidding me? She's the best player in the WNBA. I don't think you can see me because that post player stepping out doubling you right there. Okay. Where you want to come? Like in the middle of the lane? Yeah. Okay. Cheryl Swoops had the best season of her career, averaging over 20 points per game on better than 50% field goal percentage and was awarded the league's most valuable player award. The league had now doubled in size to include 16 teams which led to an extra four playoff berths being added into this year's postseason. The Comets would sweep the Sacramento Monarchs in the first round before doing the same to Lisa Leslie's Los Angeles Sparks in the Western Conference Finals. And so fine. You clear the questions from my mind. I was uh, afraid to say I love you. Afraid to take and too eager to give. You help me deal with what I'm feeling. With why and how I want to live. The WNBA Finals brought a familiar opponent in the New York Liberty. For the third time in the four-year history of this league, the Houston Comets and New York Liberty will fight it out for the WNBA title, a title Houston has never lost. The three-time defending champs made their way through town and here to the Garden about two hours ago. They arrived in New York two days ago because, well, that's what they did last year and won. Yes, even defending champions have superstitions. This win, the first game, being at home, is imperative that we win. Um, it will be a difficult task to go into Houston and try to win, too. We want to win this one at home and put pressure on them so we can get to, to Houston and hopefully sneak a win. Performing under pressure. You know how to play and where to play and what to do. Let's play hard. Let's play like we have these first four playoff games. You do, everything will be fine. Stay together, play hard, know that nothing bothers. Tiffany Johnson and Tari Phillips in the circle to jump. Cynthia Cooper doing what she does best, just putting it on the floor, driving the lane, and scoring. Well, we all know this is her time of the year. At 37, supposedly the last year for her, she is going to go, wants to go out on a bang. I, I still don't believe it. She's just too good. Too good to hang it up, but that's what everyone said about Michael Jordan as well. He went out on top, and I think Cynthia Cooper, very much the same, wants to do the same thing. And that time, is Tina Thompson launching the three. You have experience coming off the bench, very much like Sue Wicks for the, for the Liberty. Oh no, oh no. Hammond takes it to the line. What a move by Becky Hammond. It probably won't be for, what a steal by Teresa Weatherspoon. Absolutely stripped arcade, and it pays off on the other end by Vicki Johnson. And now with nine on the shot clock, it's Cooper's opportunity. And that's why she got off the game quick, hitting two long threes. And there's some vintage Coop. Well, Fran, it's a good point because Swoops does indeed have five rebounds. She has a steal. Those are some of the additional things that she brings to the game. So obviously she's not completely uh, <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, baby. We just wanted to say that uh, we love you, Reg, and uh, this is only from us, not from just Lifetime WNBA. and at WNBA. And what's up, guys? That's what's that. Wow, well, I appreciate it. We thought we were going to hear one good one as you gave him the cake. Come on now, one good one. What's that? Four quick points for Tari Phillips to open up the second half. She's got a dozen. Well, she was the only one really offensively that was looking for her shot on a consistent basis. Great 
sure you're fast by Teresa Weatherspoon, but someone better pick up Cynthia Cooper. Three-pointer, nothing but the net on that shot by Tina Thompson. Instead, it was the third foul call on Wetterspoon, and now that's the MVP shot of Cheryl Swoops. You know, this is where Richie Abibalo's offense kind of lags right here. They just get tipped, caught passing the ball around the perimeter. And Teresa Witherspoon starting to step up offensively. Hey, Sally. Hey, Sally. Cooper just punched her. No, she right didn't. It was her ankle. Oh, no, it was her oh, So she did it on her own. No, she did not turn it. I saw the play. She twisted her ankle. With By herself? Yeah. By herself. Yeah. Cooper didn't hit it. And this would be huge if they can convert right here. This is very much shaping up to like to the last regular season game here between these two teams. Houston got out to that big lead. New York chased them down, fought back, fought back, and ended up with the 69-64. And right there, another offensive foul by Cheryl Swoops. Teresa Weatherspoon sacrificing her body. Crystal Robinson will try to get something going. Whitmore cannot hit the side of a barn.